Hey, this is Mikey, and I just want to give you a, a sneak peek at a new preset pack that I'm working on. And I think I'm going to call it bars and graphs or something of that nature. And what you're seeing here is what the presets are. Now, these aren't just graphics. They're actual presets for After Effects that are animatable with custom controllers. So let me just kind of take you through them. They're not complete yet, and I'm still working out the details on what features they have. So if you have any ideas or suggestions, go please put those down in the comments below and so I can incorporate that into this new preset pack I'm working on. So first off, let's look at tables. So this actually came about because I was needing a table in a project I was working on and there was no easy way of creating a table. So here I have a table and um, I can change the width of it, the height of it, how many columns, let me change the colors. I can have a header on it. Let's give that header a different color. I can turn the header off. I can change the width of the or the height of the header. I can also make it so the header has columns through it or it's all one block. Um, I can change also, I can have transparency on the header and on all the cells as well. So if it's over top something else, no, well, it's not over top something else. Let me just bring this to the top. You can see, you know, behind it because it's transparent. Also, I can change the thickness of the stroke and the color. So that's tables, and these are all keyframeable. So if you want to, um, you know, animate this thing kind of moving and growing, that's that. So the next one, bar graphs. This is one of my favorites because um, I can come in here, I can change the amount of graphs from one to seven. So there's just one. I come into that bar, move it up and down. That's cool. Let's bring it back up to seven. And I can change all these individually. That's pretty cool. I can turn on and off these lines. I can change the color of those lines. I can put a stroke around the graphs themselves change the color. I also have ability to change the width of the bars and then the spread of how far apart they're spread. So that's bar graphs. This one right here, Venn diagrams. This one I'm still working on. Um, right now I just have the ability to kind of move it in and out and they cross over. Um, I can change the colors and everything will be kind of, you know, played across. What I plan on doing with this is having the circles with points where I can just take a point control and move the circle wherever I want and everything will just kind of still work with the colors. So that's the plan with that one. If you have any ideas um, of what you want to see with a Venn diagram type preset, um, just let me know. Right now I just have it so it's moving in and out like this but I plan on having it so you can move it around and choose between two and three um, circles. And the last one, which I'm particularly very proud of, is the pie chart. This one was really difficult to put together, and there's lots of cool stuff. So let me just reset this. Um, and you can see here there's seven different pie pieces. And how it is, there's actually six slice controls. And the reason why I only have six when there's seven is because the seventh one will automatically just take what's remaining. So right now I have all these set at 10% and 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 times six is 60, so remainder of 40. So if I come in here and bring this up, everything kind of moves. And it's really cool because if I move it too much, everything just kind of shrinks down. So that's pie charts. I also have this display, so it shows me in real time what all of what all of the uh, percentages are. 
And if I want to link to that to say a text layer, I can do that. I can come in here and change this outer stroke. I can also change the color of it. I can change the color of all of these pie pieces. So pretty darn cool little presets here. So that's what I have. I just wanted to kind of give you a sneak peek. Um, I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to be releasing it, but soon um, it's going to coincide with a launch of a brand new website, if you haven't heard. And so what kind of other features? Are there other features you'd like to see in you know charts and graphs like this? Um, just let me know in the comments below. Is it great? Do you want to see more custom, uh, custom ability? Do you want to see less? Do you want to make it more easy, kind of a one switch type thing? Or do you want to be able to tweak it, you know, tweak the crap out of it? So just let me know in the comments. I want to hear your opinions. What do you think? Is this Are these some useful presets? I know I would use them all the time. Um, I do lots of infographics and um, videos for business and businesses and things like that that need to have these kind of things in their videos. So um, really, I'm just making these for myself. And I thought, you know, let me turn them into presets and um, see if you know, some of my subscribers and things like that would uh, appreciate something like this. So let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear your feedback and any suggestions you have. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.